A while ago, I asked you guys if y'all are interested in seeing me turn a holiday tree into a character. But what I didn't tell you is that I'm planning to create a Disney-inspired princess out of chocolate pretzels. Okay, well that's how the spread turned out. I love it so much. So the first thing I did was of course whip out my sketchbook and start to draw my first sketch. I thought it would be a good idea to begin drawing the treat that inspired this whole video. Chocolate covered pretzel rods. So yummy. As, as you can see, I'm pretty excited to start coloring. I just love Christmas colors. Brown colors, the pretzels, the red, the green. This is so yummy. So I decided to pick a colored pretzel that pleased my need for those exact colors. <laughs> it had brown, green, white, and red, which is uh, just perfect. Before we continue the video, stop what you're doing and please tag Drawing Waffles in the comments below. I told her about my idea and she basically said she loved it. So please, please, please tag her. I really want her to see this video because this video was also inspired by her. Okay, thank you. Let's get back to the creation video. So I drew my little mini sketch and now it's time to ink and color. I remember feeling really clever that I found the perfect color for the skin that matched the color of the actual pretzel. And later in the video, you'll, you'll see how that really plays a part in pulling everything together for the final character design. So right here, I was just trying to look up the actual Dixie Princess so I can just have a picture stand right in front of me of inspiration for how this princess will actually look. Also, I feel like this is the perfect time to say, go follow my Pinterest. I just have saved literally a ton of things on there that you guys can probably gain inspiration from. I usually gain inspiration from my own pins that I save and just on Pinterest, so yeah, go check that out. I remember gaining a lot of inspiration from like fan art that other artists made of the princess, specifically like Snow White. And I really like liked her outfit especially this one that I saw this girl make. If I can find it, I'll pop it up for you guys. But yeah, I thought it was really pretty and yeah. I realized that I didn't particularly like the direction in which I was going for this princess inspired by pretzels. It just wasn't the vibe I was going for. I guess I wanted someone younger and more perky. This girly kind of looks more like a warrior, which just isn't the vibe I'm going for for today's video. But I did finish it and I have to say, I really really like it. But I did end up tweaking a few facial features in my next drawing. Now this girly right here was interesting because it felt like as if I couldn't draw a three-quarter view. <laughs> like portions didn't look right. I don't like this. <laughs> I'm gonna erase it. But nevertheless, I drew the front facing character and you guessed it, I love the way how it turned out. <laughs> this time I gave her a ball gown because I wanted something completely different from my previous drawing. And yes, you guessed it, that was inspired by... Cinderella! Hey, that's why everybody likes ball gowns, right? Cinderella's the first girl we think of. By the way, who's your favorite Disney princess? Let me know by telling me in the comments. My favorite Disney princess is Maribel from Encanto. Encanto. Even though she's not technically a princess, I still count her as one. You know, but if not, I would have to say Belle, Tiana, or Mulan. This is my third time recording this, so bear with me. But I'm using a different editing software. It's uh, CapCut. And yeah, I'm trying out a different editing software. And I really like it. Let me know if you guys like it as well. 
I always get asked what editing software I use, like if not every video, every other video. And I usually use Villo, but this time I'm trying out a new editing software. My mom actually gave me this pretty cool idea that I could make PowerPoint presentations and sell them for anyone who's interested in learning how to edit the way how I do and how to keep people entertained throughout long videos. So I'm thinking that I that should be up or around here in a little bit. Let me know if you guys are interested in that. And yeah, so far I'm really enjoying doing voiceovers just because I can tell you guys as much information as I need to or as I want to without having being rushed. So yeah, I don't know, I really like it. Um, you might be seeing this editing style from me more often. So at this point, I was happy with what I created and was ready for the next step. I drew a little mini sketch of this girl to use kind of like a swatch test. I do this to see if the way how I envision it, like in my mind, would look good on paper without coloring a full size picture. I actually do this quite often when I'm drawing, especially if I'm creating a new character, which I often do. <laughs> I stole this from Rin, aka Drawing Waffles, don't forget to tag her below. And I used it to help me with my art journey. So now you can steal it from me. I did a few of these experiments and kept going until I found something that I liked. So for this one, I wanted to have the chocolate on the bottom and the caramel on the top. The chocolate would resemble the chocolate and the caramel would resemble the pretzel shade. I'm not quite sure where I was going with that, but I quickly realized that that wouldn't work and ended up changing the pretzel color to a red, which I ended up liking much more. <laughs> for the second one, I wanted to see how it would look if the top was green and the gloves were red. And lastly, for the third one, I wanted to bring the chocolate up to the top and have the flat color on the bottom. And of course, with all of these, uh, the chocolate would have the sprinkles that would have the red, white, and green. And then the other one, I just wanted to be flat and just have one solid color. Oh, look at that. Here's me trying to clean. You know, I try my best. I try my best. And now it's time to ink and color. Here are some close-ups, yes, very satisfying. I like to do this for you guys. Get a little close-up on how everything looks. I really like it, and different angles. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna be quiet and let you guys enjoy. Okay, I really like this so much, so I'm going to make a bigger version of her and color it in. 
could just erase all that and just add it to her top. But I don't want to. I'm gonna move over to this page. I really like that pose too, so I think I might recreate that. Okay, so right here I was just explaining that I really like the way how my art is turning out now and I can definitely see an improvement from my last sketchbook at least a little bit and I think I know why it's because in my past sketchbook I wasn't spending as much time focusing on the proportions and even if I compare my art now to my sketchbook that I did my sketchbook tour on in that sketchbook I can really see that I was really focusing on every little detail, especially when I was just doing pencil. And I think that's what I'm going to try to do more in the sketchbook. Just sketch and just draw and just study instead of focusing more on coloring and stuff. Because I feel like I can't, for me, I can't depend on my coloring skills to save my illustration, which I often used to do. Um, but I think, especially for this drawing that I am inking right now, I really focused on how the sketch will turn out, and then I tried my best to color as neatly and as best as I can for the colors. And I think that's a major tip for any beginner artist for, or for any artist, because I kind of saw my art dis, de, dis scale or decrease <laughs> decrease in skill level because i just wasn't spending as much time working on my foundation and also i feel like that counts for even cartoon artists um they still have to know somewhat about anatomy and facial structure and how the body works so you still have to put in that time and that effort for your foundation to look right so your finished illustration can look right because even if i were to uh make a quick sketch and throw some markers over it the key elements if you will will still have to be present that's why some watercolor artists can put a blob on there and then do fine liner to outline the basic and the key elements to make that car or house look like a car and house Ooh, i feel like that was some solid information right there that is that doesn't even have to be involved with art that can be a life lesson in itself
So this moment right here is where I color in the skin. I feel like this is the part that really pulled everything together. One, because it's the skin, and two, because it really resembles the actual color of a pretzel. And I really, really liked it. It's like a warm uh, pretzel caramely color, and it's really pretty. It really pulled everything together. And just really made a screen chocolate covered pretzel. Peeps, here we have a Disney inspired princess inspired by chocolate covered pretzels. Now all I have to do is write my signature and add a few finishing touches to make this illustration that much perfect. I wanted to fill the space because I'm the type of artist who loves to have a chaotic spread and doesn't want to see no white whatsoever on their pages. But I made an exception and didn't go too overboard, but I still wanted something to fill the space. So I added these gray balls and later you'll see that I'll actually outline it with a graphite pencil to make it look like bubbles or ornaments, depending on where you're from. I didn't want to add a black line art because I feel like that will get rid of the soft vibe and bring tension towards the background instead of the main character, which is the princess. If you made it this far into the video, thank you. You're my favorite. We made some pretty solid progress. I actually think that this is the first character I created and like without making a complete mess of my spread. I mean, we started from this warrior, high class England princess girl and made our way to this holiday tree inspired princess fairly quickly. I'm pretty content with this spread, but if you're not new to my channel, you know I have to fill some white space. So here I go. Okay, well that's how the spread turned out. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it so much. I feel like I just really came up with this character so fast and it turned out so good. I just really, really like it. Let me know if you guys like chocolate covered pretzel rods. I think I remember trying that. I remember trying the normal pretzels that like the small ones but I remember having the tall ones but normal but I don't think I ever had the chocolate on the rod before but nevertheless I really had a lot of fun doing this I hope you guys enjoyed um so yeah I'll give you guys some close-ups and I'll see you guys in the next video please like subscribe and click the bell notification below I know uh, below I know I already said this stuff tag drawing waffles please do for me I hope you guys have a uh, even though it is after Christmas, I hope you guys have a happy Christmas and a happy Christmas holiday and uh, amazing New Year's. Bye! Wait, 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 it's not over yet. If you stuck around to the end of the video, you obviously enjoyed. And you may like this video where I turn countries into baddies. Or this other video where I show you all my goodies in my sketchbook.